Okay, so um, this is a the test workflow that we are looking at. Um, um, I'm going to, in fact, you know what I'm going to do before I run it? I'm going to show us all the workflow. So this is essentially what we're doing. Uh, we have all of our inputs over here. Um, um, we create a specimen data object. Um, um, that JSON is sent to another tool which downloads the image. Um, Ben's pointed out um, that this could easily be part of this tool. Um, I, uh, I mean, I, I thought the same thing. And then um, after that, we, um, we look at regions of interest. And um, while this may look in this screen, like what we've shown before, all of the plumbing under the surface has now been done properly. So we go back to, um, we just run, we run, can either run the workflow from here. Um, I'd like something that looks like a, um, an HM uh, ID, um, where image licenses are restricted to these two types. We have an image URI we can put here. Uh, this is a pinned insect. The rights holder is NHM. Um, uh, it's an insect. And we're just going to put in the test person and identify it here. I'm just going to hit run on the workflow. And this should be invoking four jobs. Three jobs, sorry. Um, we can see the parameters that we've called it with. And on the right, we can see the history of what's happening. So it's currently creating a specimen data object, uh, which is now created successfully. It's now going and downloading the image. And that's failed. It's quite irritating. Have I given it a valid URL there? I appear to have. I don't know why that's not worked. So we're just going to, why has that not worked? So we're just going to rerun that step there. We can see that it can download the image and, da, da, da. and then we're just going to rerun um, I'm going to show what happens if we rerun the, um, the TechLear worker object. Can see that's completed successfully. And if we inspect the results here, um, uh, we can see that we've got the output from this running. It's done it on a CPU rather than a GPU. Um, it's done all of the prediction that it's supposed to do. And the result is it's generated, um, it's generated our um, um, it's generated our um, output JSON. Um, how do I view that if I visualize data and I have a look at its text? So we can see that we have the OpenDS has been created. Um, we have a specimen ID, it's pinned insect. This is different from the one I typed in because I actually jumped onto a previous run. But we can see the metadata for the image has been provided and that we have our regions of interest have now been determined within Galaxy. Um, so we can see our scale bars being found. We've got polygons for scale bar, specimen labels, barcode. Now, what I've gone and done is I've done a bit of visualization for this. And this is what this looks like on the image. I've not strictly drawn these as polygons. Um, just for the sake of brevity, I've drawn these as rectangles using the top left and bottom right coordinates. Um, but we can see that we have um, the specimen 
scale bar label and barcode um, have been um, have been correctly identified and everything's within everything's got a very high confidence apart from the specimen which has a slightly lower confidence um, and yeah so so once we've sorted that bug with a failing step um i don't see why we couldn't go and run this over a cohort of images and we could actually play with some um um, some nuts and bolts visualization, we could see how well it performs, um, both in terms of results and in terms of speed. Um, and yeah, um, um, as Lawrence said, the, the next step would be getting um, some, um, some more tools integrated. So now I've identified a label, um, we could look at doing some, um, we could look at doing some OCR, I've got a barcode there to read as well. 